Hello guys. Hope you're enjoying the new channel, Anima Ex Nihilo, all things nature and cool. Today we're going to look at this snakeskin. One of my boys found it, oh, two months ago or so. I had different ideas for it, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to get much done with it. So I'm probably just going to put it in the compost pile. I know, I know, some of you would like to have it, but... By the time you see this video, it's already going to be in the compost pile. But before we do that, I'm going to see about taking some up-close videos of it. I'm going to use the, uh, the little magnification lens that one of my boys put together. And we're going to see if we can't see what the different scale types and everything look like under close magnification. Now this is not going to be a microscope, so it's not going to be on the microscopic level, but I uh, hope you might enjoy it. All right? Thanks so much. So these are the regular body scales right here. And I still find it fascinating that before the snake loses its skin, you can actually, I think, you know, if you had a, got a hold of a snake, peel off one of its individual scales. But when it comes time to molt, it all comes off together. I just find that fascinating. Look at those. Okay, so that in the center of the screen right now is the, the skin in between the scales. And you can see tons of, I don't know if those are pores. To me, they look like pores. Let's see. Looks like there's a tear right there. And if you see that blue spot right in the middle, it's the second time on one of these scales that I've seen that. I wonder what that is. You got some coloration. Alright, we'll look at the uh, underbelly scales next. Alright, so that line in the middle is the curled skin in between the two underbelly scales. And if you bear with me, right there is the underbelly scale. It's vertical right now. It, the length of it would be up and down. There we are at the edge of it again. Alright, and then we'll go and look at the uh, eyelids, or the covers to the eyeballs. Okay, so on the other shots we were looking at it from the inside out view. Um, this right here is actually the right side out view. Uh, this section of the skin had gotten quite dirty. I didn't realize that there was so much sand on it and such. So all those spots, that's just a lot of sand on it. I was afraid to clean it off too much or I might rip the skin up. So we'll just have to take it as is. But that's the top part of the eye, you know, the eyebrow if we were going to personify it. But this covering over the eye is quite clear. Uh, well, aside from all the dirt and everything. Anyway, it's about as good as I'm able to get that. It kind of looks scratched. I wonder if that happened after 
or before. That's just the natural scratching that happens as the snake moves around. And finally here we'll see if we can't look at the scales, the skin from the outside. So those are the scale tips. They do actually come up off of the skin a little bit. That one looks like it has a couple of dimples in it. I don't know if those are just scratches from it moving along. Oh, looks like a lot. That one has it too. Has those two little dimples on the tip of the. That one's got it too. So that's a feature, huh? That's neat looking. All right, and let's have a look at the body or the underbelly. Okay, and now the long ways is to the right and the left. And this is just on one of the edges of one of the underbelly scales. There, that's actually showing it a little bit better, huh? It's a little bit um, iridescent. I think that's causing the camera to kind of focus a little bit weird. And then let's see if I can get in. Okay, that's on the next scale behind it, just on the edge there. All right, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much. Y'all take care and have a great day.